Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm going to show you how to use the style creator or style editor now for score bars offline. Very simple. So, uh, after you've actually created a style, um, what you want to do is just put all the pieces into the editor. The, the pieces are the actual style, um, uh, and then the sides of the round, the round tag pieces. I made the Samso style from uh, Evo Japan that's going on right now as of this video anyway um, um, yeah. so yeah put them in that put them in that folder open the app up open up style editor here you'll see game preview background this is what as soon as you click on anything you're gonna see it uh, turn into editor mode so you'll see you go back to the default style and uh, one side is highlighted red showing you the bounding boxes of you know how big uh, the names can be or how long and such uh, but you can edit that as well based on your style so the first option you're going to see is game preview background you're going to see this when you save it because uh, when you save it it's going to generate a thumbnail showing your, uh, your theme on a screenshot or show, yeah showing your style on the screenshot so you can share it with everybody um, I'll show you that at the end um, since I'm doing the same show one, we're going to click on the same show. You're going to click on the name of the uh, background file, or the style file that you, whatever you named it. Mine's name background because I was already messing with it. Um, or actually no, mine's named Sam show 2 because I was already messing with it. So Sam show 2 you'll see it in the drop down. So anything you put in the editor will, in the editor file, uh, will pop up under the background here. And then anything you put in there that's that has left in the name will pop under uh, round tag left, and then has mid in the name and has right in the name will pop up under that specifically, so you don't have too much going on in your drop downs. So you can drop them all in the same folder. Um, next, you'll I'm, I'm going to line everything up. Um, that's pretty that that's the easiest part of it. After you design, just line it all up. Um, I know how long the my, I want my box to be, so we're going to do 525. Oops. So I was like, I messed with this before. Uh, Close to from the top. So DF, you see DFT in parentheses, it means uh, distance from top. You'll see it fully out on a bunch of other ones, but if, you know, if it's next to a name that's already long, I just abbreviate it. Uh, distance from side. I bring that over, see it's all symmetrical. A name alignment, so you can leave it in the center, which I'm currently liking. You can put it in the outside, or the inside, whatever, or what, the inverse of what I just did. You can, uh, I'm gonna change the font color, I like a little off-white, a little gray. I'm gonna change it to, so I have a bunch of fonts here, I'm gonna add a bunch more, just, you know, more options. Um, I like Industry Bold, love that font. Change it to 30. I like mine in all caps. That's good. That's right. That's lined up pretty well. I'm gonna bring it over a little bit more. So I'm ready for that. Um, the best way to edit your so the best way to edit your uh, style live or whatever is to open, for me anyway, is to open an actual browser and then do all this there versus doing it in the small OBS window just so your stuff can be more accurate. But I'm doing it in this way so you can see me while I'm doing it. Um, so yeah, you have your tag colors, name colors. I'm gonna leave these tag colors the same. I actually don't have them in the preview, but they're there. And I like the tag to be a little bit smaller. You can add shadow to uh, all the text there's uh, four different levels of shadow here I got there's a uh, just a, a light glow a, like a hard dark glow a drop shadow which is like to the bottom right a light one and a dark one as well Sam sure one had a hard glow sure gonna go with that um, change my score text Industry. Yeah, I'm going to 
I bring it up here? I think negative eight is where I left it. You just you really just fiddle with the Oh, well, I'm in for a second and you're pretty much good, bro. Um, I think that looks good. I mean it's basically done already. Um, oh I didn't change the mid round tag, so I think it's in the default. Wow, just like that. Round tag. Another industry black. The um, the official Samsung one had the uh, round tag at the bottom. So again, if you're doing this, if you're going to edit yours, I'd again recommend doing it in a browser. So it, well, if especially if you have a round tag that's lower, um, hit F11 so it full screens your browser and then bring it all the way down. Um, now this theirs was all the way on the bottom, so around two, four, five, something like that. That's pretty much it. That only took a couple minutes, right? Then from there, oh yeah. So there's also some other options I'm gonna show you here. I'm not gonna include them in this thing, but some cool options as well. I know on some people, like when I look at some tournaments on Twitch and stuff, I see some people have their little, like a separate first, uh, you know, ten or first or whatever on there. So I have you have an optional label for that as well. A little bit for that as well, that you can stick anywhere, you know, and then still you can distance from top, distance from side, and so on and so forth. Um, this will this one be distance from the left side specifically. Um, yeah, you can change the lighter case, and you can also skew. I didn't say that, but you can skew a lot of the stuff as well. If you want to do that, but I'm not using that, so I'm gonna turn that off. You can also, if you like using uh, character portraits and as part of your um, style, I see a lot of them. I see a lot, it a lot on Smash Bros. ones. Uh, you can do that as well. You can pop those on there. Turn that bad boy. It has question marks here. I can. Uh, it's, it's gonna be. It's gonna show question mark by default, but since it's live while you're editing anyway. You can, um, I can bring it down and just can reconfirm my people here. And you'll see them pop up in, the, in, in that if, if you need it. Um, yeah, and you can add a background. You can give them a background color or something. If you like. And you can change the size. It can be either 50 pixels, from 50 pixels to 150 pixels. I say you can also uh, line them up the way you want. Okay, line them up nicely. That'd be pretty cool. Um, you can also round them out if you want to do that. Yeah. It's an option. But I'm not using that for this, so I'm gonna turn it off. And that's pretty much it. You're done with the theme <laughs> or the style already, just like that. So what we're gonna do here, you wanna name it. I'm gonna name it Samurai Showdown. So no W. Evo Japan. Oh my gosh. 2023. And you'll see it in this styles export drop down, there's none so far, but you'll see it in a second, it'll update. But right now we're gonna save it. So it's saved. Now, if come down here, you'll see it's in the drop down now. Always available, right? Dope as hell. You don't have to do anything else, it's there. If you wanted to override it, you would just change, if you wanted to like update it or override, you would just put the same name in and then configure it however you wanna change it and save it again. But saving it, let me show you what happens when you save it. So when you save it in your styles folder, it's generated here. 
Samurai Showdown Evo Japan. Which you'll, you'll, and you'll see all the pieces that you had in this folder, as well as a preview a thumbnail for it. Bam! Right? Is that not cool as hell? Um, it'll, it'll say created by you, whatever your username is in your, um, in your score bars. And, you know, it's labeled as compatible with the offline version. And on top, it's, you know, it's overlaid upon your over your style is overlaid upon the screenshot for the game that you're you know assigning it to I guess so you can share with others I'm gonna try to see I'm um, I'm trying to figure out in my mind how I can I might try to put it in the app somehow so the community ones can just be selected and downloaded as well um, but it might go to, I might just have a channel in discord first or at least, or at least initially uh, but yeah, that's cool as hell, right? You saved it, bam, screenshot for you to share. People know, so people knows what it looks like. Um, yeah, and so you might be thinking, you, well, how do I share? I, I got the screenshot. Um, so right here, just go to the drop down. Now you'll see it in there as well. You're gonna select it and hit export. Export it successfully. So back here. I have a little message too. It says you can find it in the user exports folder. So, and back here in user contents, in the exports folder, there it is. Ready to share with everybody. And then drag it over here. And there, so everything that was in that folder is in this. Is this in the zip file? And you just share with anybody you want. That's pretty much it. Easy peasy. Takes two to five minutes, if that, if you want to be really, you know specific eyeballing it of course you are you've designed it right um but yeah when i design something i don't have to this takes me a minute now i don't have to do too much and it won't take you that long either um yeah that's that's how you use the style creator in the and scroll bars offline 1.7 thank you until next time